day. Yes, except for the fact that our mother died. Oh. And our father remarried a very wicked woman who claims we eat too much. Oh. And thus sends dear daddy out in the forest to leave us to starve. <laughs> Other than that, it's a perfect day. Oh, yes. But Hansel, look. I've been randomly dropping this handful of breadcrumbs. That's just showing us we'll find our way home. You are a wonderful sister. I know. But unfortunately, you're not a very bright one. Look, oh. all the birds have eaten your breadcrumbs. Oh, crumb. But wait, a candy house. Let's eat that. Before dinner. We're the victims of neglect. We may do as we wish. You're right. Um, <laughs> oh, Hansel, it's a wicked witch. She's tying you up. She's throwing you in a cage to bag you. And she's nearly blind. Never fear, Gretel, for I have this chicken bone. And when she comes to check my finger, I will stick it through the cage. She says she will throw them in the oven when I'm fat enough. But I have fooled her. Good thinking, Hansel. Oh, Hansel, now she wants me to stick my head in the oven to see if it's hot enough. But I will ask her to stick her head in. Good thinking, Gretel. Uh, oh, oh, there! She's dead! End of story! Hooray! Hansel. And Gretel. A children's story. Or so it seems on the surface. But underneath, the implications are... Mind-boggling. Mind-boggling. Stupefying. And definitely open, open to, to interpretation, interpretation by Ken Bradbury. But since it's a rather dull story. And we know that they want to see more. Oh, yeah. Let's suppose this untidy little <clears throat> tale were a murder mystery. Bum, ba-dum, bum. Bum, ba-dum, bum, bum. It was a cool Friday in the forest. I was working day watch out of Homicide Division. My name, Hensel. I'm a cat. Name? Gretel. Well, Gretel, who's the dead? Broad. A witch. 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 How'd she die? I killed her. With what? An oven. You hit her with an oven? I shoved her in. I cooked her. Great. Another 934. That's the third witch cooking I've had this week. Hold up. This ain't no copycat crime, officer. I did this on my own. She deserved it. Most witches do. Mm -hmm. Got any witnesses? Just my brother over there in the corner. The one with the chicken bone. Do you do that often? Sort of a hobby. Well, I'm afraid, Miss Gretel, that I'm going to have to take you down to the station. Mm -hmm. By the way, we found these breadcrumbs in the forest. That ain't mine. You know, I'm not really feeling this one. I think that we should try Shakespeare. Hansel, Hansel, my dear Hansel, why art thou so downcast? Gretel, dearest of sisters, tis the witch that hath entombed me here. Look, even now she cometh to check at my finger. And oh, <laughs> most wretched of women! Oh, I shall give thee all the double thy toil and trouble. Oh, thou most. Oh, you don't it. For even now she turns to check her cauldron. Do not ask for whom it boils, Riddle. For it boils for me. Quick, do the deed now while she turns but a bit away. To shove or not to shove? <laughs> that is the question. No shoves thou please, Jarvist. Whether well, tis nobler in the mind to suffer thy grapes and groans of yon whining brother. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Look, now she comes for me. Ah, ah, ah. Warlock with one leg. What happened? 
Hey! She got mad and broke it off. That's me. That's me. And ugly. When she was born, her father went down to the zoo and to rush the stork. That's ugly. That's ugly. But she's everything a man would desire. Really? Bulging muscles and a mustache. That's ugly. That's ugly. <laughs> but at least she's not two-faced. Really? If she had two, you'd think she'd want the other one. Ha ha ha! That is ugly. All right, calm down. We need to move on. Alright. Not feeling that one either. What if we tried... English drawing and comedy. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Gretel, dear. Yes, Ansel? I do hate to be a bother, but could I trouble you to give dear old witty poo the shadow? Oh, oh, oh. I beg your pardon. Oh, I know it's rather dreary and all with the heat, but perhaps you could just nudge her a bit toward the old hot box, eh? <laughs> Dashing. Yes. I say, Riddle, your girl seems to be moving me towards her rotisserie. Oh. Bit of an inconvenience, don't you think? Oh, yes. No, dearie. Oh, well, oh. Oh. if you insist. Dash it off, Hansel, you spilled your tea. Oh, dear. Mummy won't be happy. Oh, I say it's beginning to warm up a bit. Oh, would you like me to open a window? Oh, don't fret yourself, dearie. Oh, but if you could oh. spare a moment, I, I seem to be roasting. <laughs> Put a little more elbow into it, dearie. I'm trying. Oh, well. Too late now. Say goodbye what? to dear daddy for me, won't you? Of course. Well, that seems to be it. Ta-ta, Gretel. Cheers. <laughs> Unlimited possibilities. All that heretical and satisfying. Unless we tried... Yes? Soap opera. Brett. Yes, Hans. You killed her. I... You killed her. Dirk and Nana told me I couldn't trust you. But she was about to kill you. Don't lie to me. Oh. As soon as I found out about Shannon's amnesia, and that I was her long lost brother who had the face of for her stay in Staff and Daffins in New York. But that was Bo and Derek. Who told you that? Bert and Shana. Not Luke and Jessica. Not according to Abby and Bo. Do you mind if we stop? I really hate this. Yeah, my hand kind of hurts. Your hand hurts? My face kind of hurts. Oh, well, we got to move on. I feel like we should do something musical. Like maybe 80s. I can do that. Sister Gretel, no, the time has come. Bom, bom. And the birds have eaten your <laughs> breadcrumbs today. It's a candy. Bang that thing in our house. Bang that thing in our It's made of candy. I'm going to gonna check it out. Turn around, there's someone right behind you, and I think it's a witch based on the size of her nose. <laughs> At first I was afraid, I was petrified. I thought the witch had locked you up and you were gonna die. I'm sailing away. Oh, witchy, you're so dead, cause I cooked you like some bread. Hey, witchy. Hey, witchy. <laughs> Stop. Uh oh. Hansel time. Ban -an 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 -an. Ban -an -an. Really? Now, every time okay. you see uh, the Hansel okay, with the mic. But she didn't have to cut me off! That's not even 80s. <sighs> I was having fun, though. They weren't. All right. I guess it's a little shallow. A bit meaningless. We gotta go deeper. Deeper. More dramatic. Dramatic. How about serious prose? Serious. Yeah. Hansel, the bread. The bread I scattered along the path. I don't know what came over me. It's like I wanted us to get lost. It's okay. I understand. What does he mean by I understand? He's never trusted me. Just because I'm a what? He feels threatened by me. I know he does. I knew you would. I knew you would? I'll tell you something she knew. I was starving. I was going to eat those breadcrumbs. I mean, how could you waste white bread? I could understand if it was wheat bread. <laughs> Thanks for nothing. Thank you. Thank you? What's he wants? Everything is a play with him, a gimmick. He uses words like a tool. If he can't dominate, then there is nothing left. How am I ever supposed to truly discover who I am as long as I'm under the thumb of his real need to be All in charge? All right, that's <laughs> enough, enough. Thank you. <laughs> All right. And so, the story ends. One dead witch, two hyperactive children overdosed on sucrose, an oven that can't be used again for cookies, and a father who has a lot 
of explaining to do. Unsatisfying. Unbelievable. But still, open, open to, to interpretation. interpretation. Ta-da! Ta